Welcome to Inside. This is the next game from developer Playdead after creating Limbo. And it's in a very similar vein to Limbo. A bit of a different art style, but it is still a side-scrolling, creepy, atmospheric, horror-filled puzzle platformer. And it has super simple controls. Just move, jump, and grab. Those are the extent of your controls, I think. And actually, I guess also similar to Limbo, uh, you play a little kid, just like in Limbo. Except this time, instead of just being an outline, well, you're more than an outline, so... From what I've heard from reviews, which by the way, the reviews have been very, very good for this game. Um, but from what I've heard, we get to see the kid die in many gruesome ways. HD gruesome kid death, yay! really is gorgeous. God, it's gorgeous. I've heard it's like Limbo in that it tries to kill you all the time. You gotta like really watch out for stuff. I'm probably gonna like walk into a bear trap and get my leg chopped off or something. God, it's so beautiful. Yeah, the animation work is fantastic by the way. I've only played it for, like, 30 seconds. I mean, I haven't even gotten this far before. I just stayed at the very beginning, just checking some settings. And I was just kind of jumping around, and yeah, looks amazing. Walk slow, you can walk as fast as you want. Anyway. Let's go get killed. Hold on, can I grab this tree? I gotta try. No, I can't. It looks like a truck. <laughs> Look at that, even the vegetation moves out of your way. And that's razor wire. Looks like there's a little gap in it right here, though. Maybe? Oh. Nope, I can just go under it because I'm so small. Well, there were a bunch of people in the back of that truck being shipped off somewhere. Did you see that? people down there. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm dead? Ooh, okay. I think I might be okay. What is that thing there? Is it like a furnace or something? It holds something and it's got a huge pipe or tube going up into the forest canopy, I guess. So cool. It just looked beautiful and felt wonderful. Ooh, look at that. Did you see that? Like when I went when I went to the edge and then like immediately turned around. Yeah, it's like they're trying to catch their like stop themselves from falling. That's super cool. Oh, I see a dog back there. I've heard the dogs try to kill you. Everything tries to kill you. Hmm. Oh. 
It's not coming down here, right? I don't even know if I need this thing. I guess I'm gonna take it with me anyway? Oh, I think I do. It's interesting. I don't remember if it was like this... Huh, that's actually really neat. I don't remember if it was like this in Limbo. It is side-scrolling, and you are limited to just like one plane, right? Moving from left to right. As in on the screen, left to right, you can't move the characters left to right. Um, however, there's it actually allows you to do things in, in multiple... Like, it actually allows your character to move left and right to do certain actions in a really interesting way. So, like, look at this box, or crate, or furniture, or whatever this is. If I just move right to, uh, left to right, you can see I'm going in front of it, right? Like, I'm not going over it, I'm not hitting it, I'm going in front of it. But, if I jump, the character gets onto it, which means they actually move a bit to the side. So even though I can't directly move to the character's left or the character's right, doing something like grabbing it or pushing it kinda does. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know if there's any like timing I can use here to avoid getting seen. I feel like this this is just gonna I'm guaranteed to be seen and I'm just gonna be chased. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh that dog can swim. Oof. Oh. Well, they know I'm here now, right? I think I saw the the car moving along to follow me. They're going to keep looking for me. I wonder if all the people they put into the back of that truck, if I'm someone who could have ended up in there, and I'm assuming going to end up dead or something, and I'm, I managed to escape and they're looking for me. Runaways. car coming. Ooh. Ooh, I was exposed for a second there, but thankfully it wasn't long enough, I guess. aren't they? The people pursuing me? Oh, Christ. Now oh, look at the way the camera of the game just kind of nervously wobbles around. It's really cool. I mean, the headlights are shining like right out here. There's nothing to cover me. I guess I just go for it. Is going slow going to help? Probably not. I don't know. Oh, no. 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 Imagine I would, would have tripped on that log, so I probably need to make sure I jump on... Oh! Okay. what I need to do there. And yeah, I think they are wearing masks. I'm almost certain of it. Ooh. Ooh. 
It's interesting that they're not even trying to take me hostage. Like, I, apparently, me being alive has absolutely no value to them at all. They're just killing me on sight, even though I obviously don't pose a threat. Unless I maybe know something. Maybe just me escaping is a threat to them somehow. I don't know. Okay, but I think I need to pause there for a second to avoid getting shot and then keep running. Because that person chasing me is definitely faster than I can run, though, so I can't pause there too long. Oh, they have a gun. Don't shoot me while I'm running. Do I keep going? I was going to hide there to... Put something in between, oh god, some, put something in between me and the gun, but... Nope. <laughs> Thank god there's water here, oh wow. Oh, I think I need a breath. Wow, the swimming is fantastic. It looks fantastic, it feels really good too. Yeah, this little kid cannot hold her breath for very long. I'm wondering if there's hidden treasure. Treasure. I don't think this is the sort of game that has treasure. Gosh, this water's beautiful, though. Alright, they're looking down here from up on the road. So, I'm guessing I gotta go under the water to cross this open gap. Otherwise, what would they do? They probably have a gun. They'd probably just shoot me. So beautiful. Those light rays and all the little pieces of debris and stuff in the water, highlighted by the light. Dead pigs. That's so cool how there's little animations for going through things, like going through that little uh, little barbed wire thing before. Going through this little fence. something. Wait a minute. Is that a little chick on the ground? It is! It's a little chick! Oh my god, the kid's kind of looking at it, too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if you stay put, they kind of come towards you. They sound so strange, they sound metallic. <laughs> There's so many of them. If I move slowly, will they follow me? Actually, even if I move fast, they'll follow me. There's another one! There's so many of them. Wow. 
I think I'm gonna have to leave them all. Sorry, little buddies. Oh, you can swing back and forth, can't you? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I can hear him out there. Yeah, the attention to detail in this game is really amazing. Even little bugs around the light. Uh, I don't like the look of this. So I can lift up the wood and let them in. Why do I feel like they're gonna die or something? What, am I gonna like chop them up? What is this device? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so I need something to go in there that's going to be heavy enough to push over that hay bale so I can step on it and jump up. Do I seriously need to get those little chicks in here and then shoot them at the hay bale? They'll be fine, right? No, they won't be fine. This thing, that's a macerator thingy. Great. There's really nothing else I can grab around here. I don't know. A block of wood? Well, I looked, I looked back and around and there's, there's nothing else for me to grab. I'm sure of it. Perfectly fine. It didn't macerate them. Okay, thank God. Sorry, guess I gotta go alone. Can't take you with me. If all those little chicks died, I would have had some choice words to say about this game. There's so many dead pigs everywhere. Uh... I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. That was a long way to fall. Ooh, I can feel those bones. I guess I have to jump into the steaming pile of pig. Oof. Oh, there's like... They're not maggots. They're way, way, way too big to be maggots. Like huge worms. Oh. Oh, I can move this thing. I, I kind of want to get the hell away from it, though. So, I'm guessing this is... Like, something's obviously very, very, very wrong with this world. Other than the fact that they're trying to chase a little kid and murder them. But, like, is there some sort of a horrible disease that's been going around? Maybe causing a famine or something? I don't know. It didn't seem to affect the crops, though, at least as far as we could tell. I mean, all those corn stalks, they, I mean, <laughs> now that we can see that much of them, they're just, like, all gray and black and mostly outlined. But they didn't look sickly. I mean, they seem pretty tall. Even if all the pigs die, there'd certainly be a lot of plant-based food left. Ew. 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 I don't want to roll through them.
Oh. Well, I'm glad jumping over it was the right thing to do. Is it dead? Whew. I'm surprised I didn't die. It was the only thing I could think of to do. I mean, other than jump over it, what the hell could I do? Oh, oh, it's still alive. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? Well, that was a weird way to die. I just, like, touched the pig and I instantly fell dead. <laughs> okay, well, it's not attacking me right now. So. Question in my mind is... Is that a pig that's become violent because it's close to death and infected and just, you know, hurting and miserable and that's why it's so defensive? Or has it been taken over in some way? Is it sort of a zombified pig? I mean, it can't really be a zombie, right? Because, like, all the other pigs are dead. But then again, they could have been shot. Maybe they were killed on purpose because they attacked people. I don't know. Also, I can't help but notice the fact that there's, like, this weird thing directly above the pig that looks like, I don't know, maybe a helmet. Also, there's people in the background that are alive? They're, like, in a trance? Anyway. God. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh. Is the pig not violent anymore? Okay. So that was what was making it violent. I mean, the pig's definitely not okay. Still, it's obviously incredibly sickly and it has a huge gaping hole in it now. Oh, come on, Piggy. I need you. Can I push it instead? Yeah, there you go. What the hell? Uh... Okay. I'm in control of them in the back. If I move the movement stick down, the kid grabs the thing, and then I can, like, jump off it, and I disconnect from them. But while I'm on it, I can move them all left and right. I can even jump. Ugh. It's just creepy the way the kid's actually jumping, too. Sort of. Trying to. Oh, that is weird. I don't like that. Oh. Oh, they're, they're okay. Oh, I can even make them grab stuff. this technology. Let's put them all in here.
I just wonder how this kid fits into all of this, right? Like, again, they're killing the kid, so I'm thinking they don't think the kid is going to be a, a candidate to, I don't know, be a controller, I guess I can call it. Or one of the servants. I mean, the servants are alive as well. Oh, look at the way this board just jiggles a little bit with my weight. Like sunlight? They look sort of like servants. There's a truck. Maybe that's the truck that I saw them all inside of. Oh, the little chicks again. What were all these huge cages for? Oh. Did they come back? Wait, what are they? They can't be chicks. Chicks can't fly. I mean, chickens can't fly either. I guess they're just birds. Yeah, they just look so similar to the chicks, but I guess they're not as yellow. And they also sound different. They don't sound as metallic. It's weird that two very similar animals would kind of show up back to back. Well, I guess there was a pig in between them. Hmm. I don't think I want to make that jump. I jump from the next floor up. He says like a stepping stone. Yeah. Um I think I know what to do. I think I need to rotate this thing. Which I'm guessing I can do like this, yes. <laughs> That's cool. Really, the sound design and just how all the controls look and feel is really astounding. Why is there a safe in such a precarious position? This feels like a setup. 
Looks like it's going to break through a hole in the ground that's been covered by wood. I knew that was going to happen about, like, pretty much immediately as soon as I pushed it over the edge, I saw that it was connected. I tried to run, but didn't make it. Oh, come on. Oof. Hope I don't break my legs. <laughs> Even the little, well actually not little, the big bolts go flying. It's cool. Oh. Guess it's like a vent. Uh... I think I want to know what's over here first. I don't know, that feels like death to my right. What the hell? What the hell is that? You know, the one review that I did read for this game... Actually, no, it wasn't a review, but just... Yeah, when I was looking up some information on this game, I did see something about there being a secret ending that happens if you, like, collect all the orbs. That's all I know about it. I, I'm guessing this is the orb. Or the orbs, rather. Hmm. So I just shut something down. I'm assuming I shut something bad down. What is it connected to? Let's follow this yellow cord. Oh, it just goes up into the wall. Hmm. It looks like a very ominous thing. I wonder if it's related to the mind control stuff? Oh. I see one of the... servants back there. Opens that so the train can go through. Okay. It's a pressure plate, I see. I'm guessing I just need to press both of them down. Um, okay, there must be another one of them behind this thing. Or not. Oh, they move in opposite directions. Huh. Interesting. So now the question becomes, how do I line them up? Hmm. I think I probably need to close this now and kind of run the one on the left into the... into the closed thing until I get it right. I'm thinking, so like, do this for a bit and then go back, nope, do that for a bit, go back, nope, there we go. Oh jeez, I just realized how long I've been recording for. This game, like the flow in this game is amazing. Like it just feels good to play and it looks fantastic. I really like it so far. Um, I don't know when it's actually making save games. 
Hmm, it looks like the last save is actually from before I finished the puzzle. So, let's keep going. Does the board bend? It does! Look at that! Ah, that attention to detail. Oh, I'm gonna grab the pipe, I think. Ah, okay, it looks like it saved here. Cool. I wish you just told me when it saved. Oh, not that big of a deal. Oh, I see a bunch of servants down there. Slowly shambling. I wonder what they're being used for. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. It's really good so far. And I'll be back soon.